Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing the Amazon Fire Stick 4K and this is the latest version and I am going to walk you through complete step by step setup. If you are a beginner and want to get your Fire Stick up and running without any hassle, you are in right place. This is the latest model of the Fire Stick. Same setting applies to 4K Max version as well. So first thing first, you will get this uh, compact eco friendly box which is a nice touch. Let's open it up. So this is all you get in the box. So we have the Fire Stick 4K itself. This is the main device and it's what plugs directly into your TV's HDMI port. This is simple and straightforward. The latest version has this nice finish on the corners and it looks quite good. So next is the Alexa voice remote. So this is the small and nifty remote that not only controls the fire stick and also you can use to switch on and switch off your TV and control the volume. So you can see the latest version you have the slightly different layout apart from that nothing much. So Amazon provides with these AAA batteries. Next thing is the power adapter. So it is important to use the included power adapter for stable connection. Most TVs don't deliver sufficient enough power to drive the USB ports. If your TV doesn't have the enough power in the USB, it will give you a warning on the screen. And lastly, you get this HDMI extender. This is helpful if your TV has a tight space behind it. Fire Stick itself is too big to fit. So that is all in the box. Okay, now for the physical setup, it's really straightforward. Let's go ahead and Insert the batteries into your remote. I have got the micro USB cable. I wish Amazon switched to the standardized uh, USB C, but it is what it is. So the power stick is powered with this cable. So let's connect the cable and I'll use the extender. If you want you can skip this so this is the now setup so let's uh, go ahead and connect this to TV so I have connected my fire stick to power adapter and inserted in the HDMI port in my uh, TV it is on the side uh, in some of the TVs it might be the bottom or behind the TV switch on the TV okay so now currently I'm on the TV menu if you don't have a smart TV it will be blank so you need to go to this button source button change it to HDMI 1 whichever HDMI that you have connected change it to that so this is the first screen you will get if your remote is already synced you will not need to do it so the fire stick atom should automatically detect your remote if not you need to press and hold home button for 10 seconds now the language menu will pop up I'll select the language the next now the fire stick will scan for the Wi-Fi so now the connection is successful the TV is already connected to your Wi-Fi. It will check for updates. If it is not up to date, it will download. It is restarting. So it took a while to install the updates. Okay, so now it is asking to sign in for your Amazon account. If you already have an account, you can sign in. Sometimes, uh, the account you are ordered with might be synced but here it's not the case i already have account so i'll log in with that or you can create the new account as well so there are two ways you can log in either you can use the code on your phone or you can do it on your remote i'll go to that website address on my phone in my case amazon.in slash code it is asking me to sign in to my amazon account so once I log in, it asks me to 
provide the code I'll enter these codes and it's already synced to my Amazon account once I say connect it will update on your basic TV it's pretty straightforward and simple so you can save the Wi-Fi wi password if you want so now the fire stick TV remote is successfully set up now you can uh, select the apps that you want to download or you can skip this step I'll select Netflix, YouTube, Sony, Z5 and also you can search more apps if you want click continue these apps will be downloaded one thing you should remember that none of these have subscription with Amazon Fire Stick TV so you will have to buy all the subscriptions if you want to watch these there is only YouTube that with ad you can watch even YouTube subscription is not free Amazon Prime also is not free so you have to separate, uh, separately subscribe to each of those services parental control also you can set if you want to uh, set up in I have enabled the purchase fin you can uh, change the setting in settings preferences and parental controls you will get this welcome to fire TV window So here you can set a different profile for different people since this is demonstration I'm just going ahead with my profile so this is the home screen with uh, uh, this remote you can use Alexa to open any apps you need to click this button Alexa open YouTube so that's it guys we have successfully unboxed and set up the amazon fire stick tv i hope this video was helpful and if it was please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech videos i'm going to do a comparison between fire stick tv and apple tv so keep an eye on that if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and i'll do my best to help you out Thanks for watching and happy streaming.